Okay, Seminar 4. I mentioned before that we are now going to tackle part 2 of group tactics, defending as partners in 2v2 and 2v3 situations. We have discussed the concept of doubling up and 2v3 situations in our previous seminar and we recognized how important it is. There are some coaches that argue that the details of 1v1 and 2v1 situations don't tend to work on it anymore as they pretend to work on a higher level than that. My suggestion to those coaches is that we play 11v11 games, but in areas around the ball it will always be a situation based on 2v1, 2v2 or 2v3. The main point is how players react to these situations, which is important for continuing the play. We have seen it when doubling up. If the de closest defender overcommits himself and gets beat, the second defender is automatically forced into another 1v1 situation. This is the point. These details decide games nowadays. The secret lies in the detail, and details decide if a team wins or loses. This is an important aspect when introducing and refining a flat back four. When introducing the flat back four, coaches should prepare their players for 2v2 and 2v3 situations as they are different from situations where numbers are up when defending. The difference is that being outnumbered, players have to be patient when it comes to pressure and aggressiveness to win the ball. Now, in 2v2 situations it really depends on the attacker's body position. The important aspect is if the attacker faces the goal or not. Was he able to turn or is he with his back to goal? Key questions are, what is the situation like around the ball? Is the defending team well organized? Are defenders in a good distance to each other to react accordingly? The main objective is to be able to create a 3v2 or 4v2 situation out of the initial 2v2 situation. This is the ideal solution here. On the other hand, what if the defense is not well organized? Is there too much distance between defenders? And where on the field does the situation occur? More central or on the flanks? There are different ways to handle these kind of situations. And this is what we want to analyze here.